everybody, welcome back to Children of a Dead Earth. This is Waffles 2, and let's continue the campaign. <laughs> oh, excuse me, throat's killing me today. Anyway, uh, let's see, we got next up was Dusk over Triton. Obviously, I've done this before, but my recording software has been uncooperative, so I haven't actually successfully recorded a run on this yet. So if we go to our briefing, uh, we've stopped the Nippon Prime in, uh, invasion. We've broken their supply line on, around Neptune. And now we're going to secure their colonies and uh, take Neptune away from them. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I've never done it with the stock ships. Don't care to try. Uh, I've got other toys to play with. Uh, we'll send in our attack carrier and a missile barge. Which one, which one is this? Uh, e or the slick? I can't remember what the difference between them is. Oh, right, I refined... Uh, I did some engine refinements on it. Seriously, that's probably all the firepower I'm going to need offensively. So now we will just to guard our force, not that one, that one. We will bring a couple of laser escort craft designed specifically for the job. And let's begin the mission. Okay, so our force is in orbit out here around Nerid. And our objective is to destroy the uh, defending fleets around Triton. They have, uh, they've split their force into two to, uh, complicate my, uh, my attack. They're playing, um, they're, uh, they're playing a delaying game, because they have reinforcements on the way. <clears throat> so they just want to, uh, they, they want to survive until they, uh, until their reinforcements arrive. Okay, so... I think we want to burn four days. Bother him, yeah, bother that. Oh, geez. Near its gravity must be pretty low if we're in a six day orbital period. Alright, so relative to. To start, relative to Neptune, we want to burn tangentially. <clears throat> until we're approaching to basically set up a kind of a basic home and transfer <clears throat> and that'll get us uh, get us with you know near Triton but look at that time frame we'll use up almost our entire mission uh, time just getting there so we're also gonna burn radially towards Neptune in order to speed our descent. See, that's already getting us. Now that's getting us there in two months instead of nearly three. <coughs> Burn a little harder. I do not know why it is doing that, but I wish it would stop. Okay, I'm back, and I've gotten us a decent circular injection into uh, Triton's frame of reference. Uh, switch back to Neptune as our point of reference, and now it's just a you know we just let it play out. Oh, let's see. this is going to take close to a month. So <laughs> yeah, we'll be. Uh, skipping forward time quite a bit. Alright, here we go. Step one, we burn that fuel there. We go here, let's see, our small methane tanker. Will you will have it refuel the rest of the fleet? I want the fuel in the combat ships, not in the not in the tender. <sighs> Continue our orbit, or rather our ballistic trajectory. Make that little burn there. Uh, 
keep everyone fueled up. Okay, we're getting close. Uh, we'll be there in less than six days at this point. In fact, it looks like uh, just over two days is our injection burn. So we'll let that play out. We are in orbit, and we've been. At, and it looks like we're being attacked. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, first things first. Refuel the fleet one last time. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got here, and we've still got a good amount of fuel left in this tanker. So we'll keep it with the fleet for now. I don't know how much more fuel we're actually going to need to carry out the mission. <coughs> Okay, so fleet's refueled. Let's focus. Okay, now we're going to focus on the action around Triton. They're launching missiles. And radically altered to there. Uh, orbital plane. Let's see. We're close to the gunship Corvette combination. So why don't we uh, focus on knocking him out first? So first thing we're going to want to do <coughs> is uh, do an out-of-plane maneuver to kind of match our inclination to his. So our missiles have to do less work to hit him. And for right this stage of the fight, the missiles are definitely going to be the our primary striking force. Uh, since they, yeah, they seem to be effective enough against beam ships. That'll do for now. <clears throat> Our, let's see, he's not sending those missiles at us yet. Um, curious. Curiouser and curiouser. We'll keep pumping fuel out of that tanker, and we'll probably wind up abandoning it in orbit. And they'll, uh, the crew on that ship will just have to stand by until uh, <laughs> until our recovery uh, fleet can get here, because uh, we got uh, we got things that we're doing. Okay, we will. Let's see. Let's launch a mix of kinetic impactors and general purpose flak missiles. See what that does. Now uh, we're shooting for the gunship Corvette. All right. <clears throat> Burn tangentially to bring up our velocity, so we can. We're just gonna. No, no, no fancy maneuvers. No subtlety. We're just gonna run him, uh, run him down. Yeah, it's just always a matter of fine tuning. The attack. You want the, of course, you want the missiles to come in on target as squarely as possible. So they have to waste as little fuel as possible doing uh, their correction burns. I'm gonna assume. Oh no, they're gonna Incoming accept the attack. Die. Um. Okay, you first, and let's see what happens. Uh, of course, yeah, they're going to use the. Of course, they're going to use their laser to try to defend themselves. But these guys are pretty well hardened against laser attack. Uh, whoops, pretty well hardened. You know, not perfect. They'll probably get a few of them, but I have a feeling that most of these are going to. Yeah, they're going to hit. And it looks like. What happened? Uh, yep. Yeah, that, those those holes are from the kinetic impactors there. In one side, out the other, and we took his reactor with it. So that takes their beam ship out of the fight. Now, without their beam ship, we're free to have the attack carrier launch a squadron of drones to go finish him off. Alright everyone, we're back, and it looks like we've run down the uh, surviving Corvette, and now we're just going to wreck his day, and... what? 
I don't understand this. Why is this gunship still hanging around with this Corvette when he's dead? He has no engines. He has, well, he's got engines, but he's got no power. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. We're not going to do that. The drone, the guns on the drones are turreted, so they don't need to aim the whole ship to aim the guns. And, uh, yeah, we'll just basically do a drive-by shooting on this guy. Uh, do we want to... Yeah, let's go for those coil guns. That will probably give us the uh, knockout blow we want. And, yeah, we'll just basically do a drive-by shooting on him. Uh, there the, the drones are shooting their guns. And now uh, it's just a matter of sitting back and watching the fireworks. Look at that. Through and through penetrations. And he's destroyed already. Wow. Just shredded. <laughs> so we've eliminated one force. Uh, I think the drones are in position to intercept and destroy those missiles as well, which they're quite adept at. So we'll go ahead and take advantage of, uh, of them. Uh, it looks like they're already uh, effectively on course to do that, just that anyway. With just a small course adjustment to fine-tune the intercept. And the easy way of doing this, of course, would be to burn tangentially and lead the poor dumb little flak missiles on a uh, merry goose chase. That feels like cheating. That feels like picking on the, the kid that rides the short bus. You just don't do it. So we'll try to shoot them down legitimately using the rail guns, and I'm pretty confident they'll do all right at it. Or not. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like we weathered it all right. All the drones still have functioning guns. No real harm done. These things are tiny, by the way. I designed them to be as small as possible. Uh, just, yeah, they're they're not heavily armored. They've got uh, some aerogel protecting them from laser attacks, and that's that's pretty much it. Let's put them back in a proper orbit. Uh... Oh. Bugger nuts. Here, we'll cheat. There. Okay, we'll put them <laughs> back in orbit. Okay, uh, and back to the carrier fleet. Um, let's see. We'll kind of do the same thing. Uh, actually, we'll just match their orbit. as best we can. That should be close enough for missile attack. Get in, kick it out. Again, we don't, we're not looking for an actual uh, interception with the main fleet. We just want to get it close to make uh, shooting them with missiles and uh, drones easier. Playing with it for a bit. And that, honestly, should be close enough. That'll get us close. Uh, you know, we'll be able to attack them pretty easily at the, from that point. So let's run her forward. Uh, focus at our frame of reference to Triton so we don't induce nausea. They fired some missiles. I will deal with them. When I need to, looks like yeah, they're, they've adjusted their orbit. Oh, that's naughty. That is naughty. Okay, we haven't done this second burn yet. What are these drones doing? Uh, they look like they're actually getting close. They have a near with some adjustments we might be able to bring them into the battle get that a little perfect bullseye all right so the the drones will swoop in and uh, finish what the carrier group is gonna start I think Let's see six uh, we got a six hours to that node 
Actually, no, it looks like the drones are going to get the first shot at them. It's fine. All right, folks, here we go. Let's see what these four the poor drones can do against the solar lands. Uh, I have a feeling this is so not going to go well. Um, well, I suppose we can try to disarm them. Or we can go for the four massive radiators it needs to operate that cannon. Huh. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, well, those are the ones that radiate the heat from the laser itself, I'm guessing. Uh, well, maybe not. Because I don't... They're all silicon carbide radiators. Oh, that might be for the crew. Oh, I don't know which ones it uses. I don't want to split our fire too much. But these are easy targets. Oh, uh, screw it. Well, I don't think they're going to make it. Um, we'll have them accelerate straight at the target to give them to get them through the uh, through that as fast as possible. But I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think they're going to get burned down before they get close. Close your rate is. Okay, we don't want to be closing too quickly. This feels like the charge of the light brigade. Oh, that aerogel is helping against the uh, the laser. They might do something before they're all killed off. Opening fire. Let's see what happens. Still got four drones. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Did we just kill that thing? We just killed that thing! <laughs> You're in trouble now, buddy. Oh, something exploded on him. Oh! Holy crap! Oh, holy moly. Um, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> and sometimes you just get lucky, I guess. Okay, uh, so all we have left is that missile, uh, that flight of missiles. We're already going to on an intercept trajectory, so I think this is pretty well mission accomplished. Um, the survival of the drones at this point doesn't even matter. Uh, we'll, yeah, of course, we'll recover them if we can, but... Like I I mean, you know, these guys will suicide against the drones. Pow. Incoming transmission. There. We sacrificed most of our drone flight, but mission successful. We, uh... Ow. Oh, one of them even, well, kind of survived. He's... He's dead. Okay, Tit Triton has fallen. We own Neptune now. This is a huge blow to the United Trade Alliance and will forever weaken their grip on the gas giants. So yeah, there's our mission. We came through it unscathed, alive, minimal fuel spent. That's actually the best I've ever done. And we did it in one month and two days. Oh, that was a great flight. I uh, hope everyone uh, stuck with me through the whole thing. Uh... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see everyone next time.